Hello and welcome to episode 10 of In Harm's Way Plays Magic the Gathering Arena. I pulled a new deck in, Rowan the Fearless Spark Mage Planeswalker deck. So let's play with it for the first time on air. What do you guys say? We'll see if uh, we get somebody real quick. Old Man is our opponent. We go first. We've got one mountain, two mountains, and a whole bunch of other stuff that we can't play. So let's see what we can do with our one mountain. We could play our giant killer right off the bat, but wow, that adventure is pretty cool. Chop down, destroys target creature with four or greater. That's a cool card, too. It allows us to pick a knight, aura, equipment, or legendary artifact card. Other knights get plus one, plus one. So we'll start with our one mountain. Hopefully... They get plus three, plus zero. Well, doesn't look like we're going to get a lot out. So they've got a black red deck. Well, that's not cool. It gets a plus one, plus one when it does combat damage. And it's already a 2-2. Two, two. With haste. Dang it. So we'll put that one out. Even though we don't control another knight, it'll stop that from doing direct damage to us. That's going to be a 3-3 now. We could put any of them out. We could... We can't do Giant Killer yet. Alright, so we'll put this 3-3 out for now. The next time if we put out this Veteran, that one will get plus one, plus one. And this is a cool card if you can use it right away. You, they could kill it right now. Put the Windscar Crag out. We gain a life. We'll put the Inspired Veteran out. This gets one plus one plus one. He can block with both. I think if he blocks with that one, though, it'll do three damage to us. I think that's what he did. Oh, no. Okay. He's going to probably attack with it this time. In which case... I don't know. Do I sacrifice this one? One damage to target opponent or planeswalker. I could block that and die. And it doesn't get any bigger. Oh, but he has, I was going to say, he has all of these he could use an instant on. But he didn't. How come she's still there? Oh, because I only did two damage, that's right. Swamp and a murderous rider. Target creature gets plus two, plus zero until end of turn. Put that out. Attack with. Huh. We could use this, but none of them are plus four. So we'll attack. Come 
Come on, block. Target creature gets plus two, plus zero till end of turn. first strike. Alright, well, we'll put that out there. Yeah, because we're going to destroy our own creature. I mean, we could, but... damage. We can put this out. And that. So we've got some blockers out there if we need them. Especially against this one. Maybe I should let that one through so that I can kill it. In fact, that's what I'll do. If it attacks, yeah, I'm going to let it through. So I can do three damage. I can't block. Okay, it wouldn't have mattered anyway. I can do two damage to either of them. Let's do two damage there. Block that one. We'll, get, we'll take six damage. Next turn, we can use the ability here to get rid of that one. Destroy target creature or planeswalker and they lose two life. Wow, okay. So we can use the instinct to destroy that. Is he's going to attack me. Okay. Put this out. We will use that instant adventure if he attacks us. And I apologize if all you guys heard was a funk on my mic. Wow, that 2-3 comes out? Yeah. Instant. Huh. Okay. So if I was him, I would use that against this. Yep, that's what he's going to do. So he's going to do three damage to me? Because it doesn't gain indestructible, so it doesn't matter. I can't put him out. I could have given that to his creature, but... Alright, so so far that deck is a losing deck. Let's see if we can get one where it wins. Let's see if we can actually get one where Rowan actually comes out and actually part is part of the game. Zewo is our opponent. We go first. Once again, well, we could put that one out. Or we could put this out right off the bat just to have something that's out there. Tap up to two target creatures. That one's actually pretty cool. We'll put this one out and get our plus one. Say hello. Huh. Look, we have the same pet.
scries two right off the bat. Alright, so we can put that out. We could do the tap, or we could put this out. And we've got a 1 1 blocker for now. We can actually bring our acclaimed contender out and do the actual what they have. Look for a knight, an aura, equipment, or legendary artifact and put them into our hand. Overwhelmed apprentice. Oh man. Oh, okay, the garrison griffin and our Rowan's battle guard. that out, we put that out, and we look for a knight, an aura, an equipment, or legendary artifact. If we have multiple inspiring veterans, do they all get plus one, plus one? So we can put that one into our hand, but it's a scene card, so that's fine. Target creature gets plus two, plus zero if we have a mountain available. Uh, no attacks, because that's going to hurt for a little while. It would not kill it, and it would die, so... Oh, this kind of a deck? So, a mountain, venerable knight, another Midgard crag, and stalwarts. Youthful knight comes out. Our inspiring veteran gives everybody plus one, plus one. And I can use that with one of these, either of these. So, let's go to combat. Plus two, plus zero, okay. Uh, well, both of those will attack, and we'll see how he plays blocking. He did. So we still don't really know how this deck plays. We do. We played against this deck. I'm fairly certain we played against this deck. Speaks of the new... Prav. Flying and Vigilance, 4, 3, 4, 2, and 2. That's not bad. Wow, and it's... it's Spells your opponent casts that target the Sphinx cost two more to cast. That's pretty good. Alright, we've got a little over 15 minutes left. I'd like to see... We've got one win and one loss with this deck. I'd like to see this deck come out with an ideal draw and see how it actually plays. Uh, Pagan Ninja. Hopefully, I'm not seeing an ideal draw here, but, you know, we'll see. Our opponent goes first. Say hello. Got a swamp out. We'll get that wind scarred crag out so that we get at least one. Uh, black red deck. 1-2 Priest. Sacrifice two other creatures and add two. Okay, so we'll put this out. Uh, we could put the Dragonfire out. And it would die. We could do... We could actually put this... No, we can't put this creature out yet. Can't do that yet, so it looks like we're doing this one. 
just a 1-1, one, one, but it's a 1-1 one, one blocker, so it won't kill them. Oh. So that's what we can use the Scorching Dragonfire on. Don't block it. I would die, it would not. Griffin. Put that out. We could actually do the adventure. We could use the joust. We could put out our Griffin or our Knight of the Keep. 2-2 two, two versus 3-2. Three, 2-3. Two. Two, three. So if we were to attack Tap up to two target creatures. So let's... We'll play the adventure. Tap that one. And then, go to combat. Have him attack. One attacker. That we will use... Our joust on, right? Oh no, that's a sorcery. We can't do it there. Dang it. I didn't see it. It was a sorcery. Although we could have used that to make it attack this one and it would have ended up dying. Oh, that's going to start creating rat creatures. That's what we could have used. That's why it was giving me the blue. Okay. Okay, so if I do the joust, plus two, plus one, let's not do that. Let's do, let's put the Knight of the Keep out. And let's not attack. Plus two, plus zero, so that would be a three, one creature. Depending on who he blocked with, it could kill all three of them. Now we've got a flyer that he can't block. So we could have had three of those guys. Man, I didn't think. Can't do that. No attacks. Here's another flyer we can put out. Draw a card and lose a life. Oh, wow, okay. Every time they lose a life, is that what that is? Create a... No, where was it? Whenever you draw... Oh, okay, when you draw your second card, create that. Well, that's not nice. Bone Crusher Giant. That wasn't very nice of them. Alright, so... 2 plus 1... Heart creature gets plus two plus zero. I can put out that tactician, which he's known I've had. Does this ever get reach? Oh, no, but if I put a, uh, if I attack it. All right, so let's go to combat let's take this one out let's see if it gets blocked no blocks so we'll use that do five damage instead of three
draw your second card. Whenever a swamp draw a card and lose a life. Or they deals two they deal two damage to any target and you gain two lives. That's actually pretty good. Any number of target players each lose two life and sacrifice a creature, you add two and draw a card. So I have to submit a creature. Alright. Submit our 1-1. One, one. He draws a card, so he gets two more. That that's a cycle that, that you just keep playing. Bang stick. I lose a life, they gain a life every time one of those comes in. Well, I could take the seven, right? Put Rowan's battle guard out. He doesn't have any flyers, does he? Do two damage, but look. I'm down to seven. And if he does that deal again, everybody gets... Yeah. I take two damage. He adds two and draws a card. Then he can bring more black out if he wants. Oh, that's right, I have to submit. See, that sucks, because it makes me get rid of a creature. Then he gets two more. Then, I get more damage done to me. <laughs> That's actually a good setup. It's a black-red deck. I don't think I have this deck. I'm not sure, though, because I could have that deck. Target creature gets minus two. Oh, okay, so Rowan's battle guard went down to one. And then died. See, that's a nice indirect and direct damage deck. And so far, Rowan's deck is one for three. We have seven minutes. Can we do another battle? Let's see if we can get another battle in. Looks like we can. She Soik is our opponent. Look, that's a plane and some mountains this time. Our opponent goes first, which, why not? Our opponents have been killing us the last two hands, so... Uh, which one do I want to put out first? Doesn't matter, it's not anything that we're going to be able to use. I am not going to give his death touch, life link, plus two, plus zero. No. I'll take the one, one. Ow. Oh, and now there's another one out. Alright, so put that out. We can actually put. We can deal three damage. We can't block. We can put him out. He can't block. I don't like the creatures that can't block. But that means both of these. Bang, bang. I lose two, they get two. Gorger gets 1-1 one, one anytime I've lost a life. This could be bad. I have a knight, so I put that in and I get to do the five cards and check the five cards, right? Rowan's battle guard is there, so we can pick her up. 
they can't attack him. I mean, they can attack him, but they can't kill him by me attacking. So there's three damage. I don't have any flyers. I don't have any flyers. Did we say hi? Not sure if we said hi. Oh, he's going to murder that one. Dang it. See, so all he had to do was attack with that one, and this one gets plus one, plus one. So that comes out. This one comes out. Another 3-3. Three, three. See, he can use this one to block now. No attacks. And I'm not going to block either of these. I can't block that one, so that's going to be five more damage to us, which means it's going to be a 4-4. Four, four. However, I could have used this. Instead of putting out the battle guard, I could have done this and killed that. Dang it. Not thinking. I can't block, so I don't know what it was waiting for. Now it's a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah. So, my choices are to hit that one, or this one for three, but it doesn't make a difference because it's only, it doesn't say to the end of, it just says three. But we're going to exile that vampire unless he's got something to stop that. Okay, then we're going to give everybody plus one, plus one. Except for Inspiring Veteran, because it doesn't matter. This guy can't block anyway. She's going to get... Our Rowan's Battle Guard is going to get plus one, plus one. And still, that... You know what? He can't block both of them. So at least take two damage. He can block both of them, but one of them's going to die because if he blocks with this one, it's going to die. If he blocks this one with that one, it dies. Okay. He can block that one and take all of the... He's not first strike, but she is. Or he. Well, he killed that anyway, so... He could have just used her to kill it. So, if they gain a life... That's good. I can play this one. At least we'll at least we will have seen what Rowan looks like in our hand. We can't play it, but and seven, five, six, you know, we might be able to do something. We can do some damage this turn. Ooh, three hole damage. Wow. 
That minus two is not bad. Rowan Fearless Spark Mage deals one damage to each of up to two target creatures, and those creatures can't block the I can put that out. I can put this out. I can use that. It's it's a little too le too it, it's a little bit too little too late. Oh, whenever a run over night dies, okay. I can do plus three, that would take him down to half. So it killed the one that keeps hitting me, but it didn't kill this one. So I'm gonna die this turn because I can't block a flyer. Wow, the, the minus nine gain control of all creatures until end of turn. Untap them, they gain haste. All right, so we got Rowan out once, but even with getting Rowan out, we still lost three of four games. All right, so that's it for me for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you uh, did, please consider giving it a like. If you guys are not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. Any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know down in the comments section. If you are a subscriber, hit the notification bell. I try and put out videos every day. This has been In Harm's Way. I hope you all have a great day. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.